Russian missiles and rockets have hit the cultural heart of Ukraine's second largest city in what officials said was a deadly and cruel attack. An opera house, concert hall and government offices were hit in Freedom Square, in the center of the northeastern city Kharkiv. At least 10 people were killed and 35 more were injured, local authorities have said. The attack came as Ukraine's president said Russia was committing war crimes. This is the price of freedom, President Volodymyr Zelensky said. This is terror against Ukraine. There were no military targets in the square nor are they in those residential districts of Kharkiv which come under rocket artillery fire, he added. Video footage showed a missile hitting the local government building and exploding, causing a massive fireball and blowing out windows of surrounding buildings. Freedom Square is the second largest city center square in Europe and a landmark of the city. Kharkiv has been bombed heavily for days now and 16 people were killed before Tuesday's attack, Mr. Zelensky said. His government accuses Russia of trying to lay siege to Kharkiv and other cities, including the capital Kiev, where a huge Russian armored convoy is approaching. Ukraine's foreign minister Dmitro Kuleba said the world must do more to punish Russia for the barbaric attack on Freedom Square and residential neighborhoods, accusing the Russian President Vladimir Putin of committing more war crimes out of fury murdering innocent civilians. The sixth day of Russia's invasion of Ukraine has seen continued attacks on several fronts, but the Russian advance has reportedly been slowed by Ukrainian resistance. People in the southern city of Kherson say it is now surrounded, and Mariupol, a port city also in the south of Ukraine, is without electricity after an intense bombardment. Meanwhile new satellite images showed a 40-mile, 64 kilometers, long Russian military convoy outside the capital, Kiev. The convoy includes armored vehicles, tanks, artillery and logistical vehicles, and is said to be less than 18 miles, 30 kilometers, from the city. A Russian airstrike hit Kiev's main TV tower in the afternoon, putting several state media organizations off air, but apparently leaving the tower intact. And speaking to the UN Human Rights Council, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Russian rights violations were mounting by the hour and said Moscow should be stripped of its membership of the council. Yesterday there was very intense shelling on residential areas, said Maria Avdiva, an international security expert currently in Kharkiv. Actually, it was the first time that Russia was deliberately targeting houses with people living there, she told the BBC's Newsday program. We still have water, it is running in the house. But at any moment Russia could hit the critical infrastructure facilities. There are shortages of food already, Ms. Avdiva added. The mayor of Kherson said Russian forces had set up checkpoints surrounding the city, which has a population of some 300,000 people, and is located in the south, near Moscow-controlled Crimea. Unverified video footage on Russian media seems to show Russian tanks rolling through the city's streets. But Mayor Igor Kalikayev said defiantly on Facebook that the city has been and will stay Ukrainian. A journalist in the city, Elena Panina told broadcaster Ukraine 24 that the city is actually surrounded, there are a lot of Russian soldiers and military equipment on all sides. Also in the south, there were strong words from the mayor of the strategically important port city of Mariupol, who said the city had been under constant shelling. Russian Nazis seek the genocide of the Ukrainian nation, Vadim Boychenko told Ukrainian 24 News. We will fight until the last bullet. If they run out, we will use our teeth against the enemy that is moving towards Mariupol.
Russian-backed separatist leader Denis Pushilin has said his forces will aim to encircle Mariupol on Tuesday, the Russian state-owned RIA news agency reported.